why is it that ADHD people get so hyper? It's the D. It's the the the, the hyperactivity part yeah, that we have inside of us, yeah, and that we have to control constantly. There is an in many of us there is an enormous anger and an enormous aggression buried down inside of us. And that is one of the things we have to treat first of all. Looking at ourselves and before we open our mouth, we have to analyze. What is it I want to say? Does it actually, is it reasonable? Does it make sense? Uh, am I reacting too strong? I have one patient now who is very strong in his personality and he is highly ADHD. Which means when he's doing something and other people are criticizing, you know, if there's just one out of a hundred who criticizes him, everything goes to hell. And inside of him, there comes only a lot of thoughts, uh, thinking of, uh, I'm going to kill that whatever he might be, or he's just a, a, an asshole, he's, he's a complete, and so on. And they are the worst invectives I can imagine. Like when he's sitting with me and tells me, and this has been treating me this way, and this has been answering me that way, and I just feel like smashing his face. And then I ask, so, so why? What do you want to achieve with it? Oh, at least he'll know. Oh God, if he's too stupid to know it without you smashing his face, then he's also too stupid to understand it once you have done it. And you're too stupid to realize what kind of consequences it's going to be for you. And I'm not only thinking about the law. I'm thinking because when you have calmed down as an ADHD, then you start looking with guilt feelings on what you have done. And then you get fear of losing for the future with other people, if they hear what I've said, if they hear or see what I've done, and so on and so on. There comes this, this, this enormous guilt feeling comes up in us. So we are actually, in most cases, suffering more than the ones we are doing it against. So we are the losers. And that's why I say once and for all, what we need is a structure in life. What you as an ADHD need to have is a structure. A structure where you know what you're going to do during the day, every day. Where you know how to react in certain situations. Tremendously important that you think through it. So when a situation like that comes up, then you know already how to react. When you feel it's bubbling up inside of you, stop it immediately. Because as long as it starts, you can stop it. Once it has been going on for a while, you can't stop it anymore. We have problems stopping it once we have get started with our aggression. Even if they know that it started? Yeah. We do. Where does the excessive energy come from in ADHD? We all have energy. We all have a lot of energy. And with our fantasy and with the, the lack of dopamine, uh, uh, we don't burn so much of this enormous energy. And we need to burn much more. Just with sports, with sports, not with thinking, because thinking we're doing too much, far too much and not good enough. That's what I said when I say we are privileged to have a good brain, but we're not privileged when we don't have something to control this brain. When we just allow the brain, uh, there comes an idea and we spit it out right away and everybody gets shocked and then we try to save it. And many times instead of saving it, we're making it much worse. 
And so, you're loving, you've been there. <laughs> yep. We have our Savior's part. We have this part where we can say, yes, in this way we function. But we have to be realistic and say, in many other parts we do not function. And that is tough for us to accept. It's tough to, uh, to accept that we are in some things complete failures. But once we say, I'm a failure because I do this, that and the other, we have a chance to change. And then we have to go on with our life and more or less all the time look forward, see forward, what are we doing right, what are, what are we doing wrong, how can we change it? How long do we have a chance to change it? How long time? And when we find out maybe 10 minutes or five minutes or two minutes, use those minutes and you will see that it works again. And when you have a day, as I have it today, where you feel down and out and just feel like I can't, say to yourself, Shut up. Of course I can. Because we have this hidden energy. We have to go on. We're not allowed to give up. None of you. None of you is allowed to give up. Don't ever look at yourself and say, I'm shit. I'm not good enough. Don't. You're just hyper, 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 hyper sensitive. That's why response from other people, you interpret them as something tremendously bad. And many times we misunderstand and misinterpret also because of our hypersensitivity. So all we can say is, come on, go on fighting, 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 fighting and enjoy every time it succeeds. When it fails, look at it and say, okay, that's one of those days, I go for it again. And the next time we're gonna succeed again. That's what Chris and I am, what we are going to do. We pray and hope for that you like some of what we do. We pray and hope for that you come with questions, that you help us this way so that we produce things you love and you find worth it. So just help us a little bit, can you?